anseotropic basic parameters rollouts. So down here, we're in anseotropic shader uh, we have selected, and down here we are picking the basic parameters. We have three main buttons we need to look at. The ambient color, the diffuse color, and specular color. Let's take a look at uh, those particular items and we're going to come over here and the let's start with a specular color. The specular color is the color in which um, we have the, sh the shiny light shining on it. So when we have light shining directly on the object is our specular color, the color in the direct uh, shining light. Number two is our diffuse color. This is direct color. So this is not in the shiny spot or reflective spot. This is in just where the direct light hits is the diffuse color. And number three is the ambient color. This is the color in the shade of the object. So the specular color is the shiny part. The diffuse color is kind of the color of the direct light. Uh, and the three ambient color is the color in the shade. So we're going to come back into 3ds Max. And when I pick on my ambient color, now I can just go and pick on any color no matter which way I want to pick on it. So I can pick on my color down here like such. Um, so I can, I can come over here and set those numbers in. However I want to set those numbers, I can set those. All right. So in this particular case, uh, we were looking at our ambient color was a reddish color. So we're going to go and choose our ambient color somewhere in the reds. All right. And I can come over here and change my hues all right, and my saturation levels, whichever way I want to go, and say, okay, there we go. There's my ambient color. And now I want to uh, pick on my diffuse color. And I might want to come in and say, ah, let's go with, in this particular case, my diffuse color was a little green. All right. So I'm going to come over here and I'll pick a green and say, okay. And I'm going to saturate that just a little bit more. I'll say, okay. And see how they're connected together. So I'll break them. I'll go back to my ambient, pick my red. Saturate it a little bit more here and pick up my values. And now, if we go back to the specular color, specular is the shiny part, and we picked up kind of a grayish color there. So, we're going to come in here and pick up some sort of gray color here. And so, I'm going to go and pick right there and say, There's my specular color. And we have self-illumination. Now self-illumination is when the object itself is given off a color, uh, such as incandescent, incandescent light. Uh, so I go and I'm going to come back here. So here's regular uh, light, incandescent light, and it's given off color. Uh, so it's giving off light itself. So the object or the color gives off light is when we're self-illumination. And in the self-illumination then, we have the color checkbox. So we could have a particular color if it's given off a color. Uh, if, the, if the color is off, then we can do amount of self-illumination. Uh, so zero is no illumination. 100 is it's taking over uh, the ambient color. So let's come back in here. Here's our self-illumination. So here I can come and say, oh, it's given off a particular color. I can go pick whatever color that is, right? And my opacity is how much is the transparency of the material. So when we have 100, that means that it's opaque, means we cannot see through it. Um, so as I decrease this value, my transparency will pick up. So if I have a 10%, I, it's 90% see-through, in other words. So 100% is opaque, means I cannot see through it. Down low, like under 10, etc., low number is transparent. 
my diffuse value is used to control the brightness of the diffuse color. By default, it's 100, so it's 100% of this color. So I can have it a, a percentage of this diffuse color. So we have the main thing is you want to learn your three basic colors. These are key. And so I want to always remember that my specular color is the shiny color. That's the color it's going to look like in the bumper. My diffuse color is the main color uh, that you see in general in direct light. And the ambient color is the color you see in the shady spot. So those are the three scenarios that we have to set up. And in our anisotropic basic parameters. So we want to set those up to whatever color we want and we can give it a name to whatever color paint that you're going to use, etc.